Hey folks, Korax here. The US Surgeon General, Vice Admiral Dr. Vivek Murthy has published a condemning report on vaping recently. I'm Dr. Vivek Murthy, US Surgeon General. Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. Then he started going around and spreading the usual big tobacco bullcrap. People wonder what's in e-cigarettes. Are they a safe alternative to smoking, especially given the rapid rise in e-cigarette use? The report I'm issuing today is meant to help families and communities understand what the science tells us about the health impact of e-cigarettes. And the message from the report is clear. E-cigarettes are not safe for youth. Because many of these e-cigarettes contain nicotine, and nicotine is a highly addictive chemical. The aerosol that's produced by e-cigarettes is not harmless water vapor for either the user or for those who inhale it secondhand. I am ex-military myself, and, other and seeing a fellow soldier selling his soul to the tobacco industry was painful. Thus, when he appeared in the GMM show recently, uttering the same nonsense and making a fool of himself, I had to write a few words. Obviously, they deleted my comment. So here it is. Five facts about vaping which the FDA, CDC, TPD, governments at large do not acknowledge. Number one, ah, the kids. We love the kids. And they are taking up vaping left, right, and center. Poor little kids. Such misery. E6 are, of course, a multi billion dollar industry. And the bright color packaging and celebrity endorsements are apparently attracting a young crowd. Jake, it is so dramatic that now when you look at this group of teenagers, when you look at teenagers in general, they are actually using e-cigarettes more than they're using cigarettes. <laughs> Wait a minute. So what is the problem? They should have been smoking instead? So e-cigarette usage has surpassed cigarette usage for our teenagers. And when you look at these numbers... False flag. You really understand Seriously? How much now here is the irony, folks. The data is true, but the reporting is skewed. No one gives the full picture that it is not new users, new kids who are picking up vaping. It is the already smoking kids who are switching over switching over actually to a healthier alternative. More on it later. And then you introduce e-cigarettes into that world. So some people who smoke would switch to e-cigarettes and then maybe quit completely. And that's a gateway exit. That's, that's, the, a, that's, good the, gateway. that's a good gateway. Those, those are the gateways we want. Never smoker kids picking up vaping is a minuscule 0.02%. The figure is so minor that researchers find it insignificant. And yes, we have science to prove that. I am not drawing these figures from my hat. By the way folks, as usual, all links are in the description box below. Point number two, no one wants kids to smoke or vape. And they are not marketed towards kids. Excuse me? Yeah? Can I have a light? Yeah, but you smoke. You smoke? Really? How old are you? But you are so young. Oh, really? Who gave you those? Uh, I bought them. Where's your Here, you shouldn't even have those. Not kids. And sincerely speaking, I don't want my kid to vape. You don't want. Nobody wants. And kids are not allowed to buy them if they're under 18, but just like cigarettes, kids somehow find a way to find them. Now here is the kicker. Point number three. Let me replay it once again. And kids are not allowed to buy them if they're under 18, but just like cigarettes, kids somehow find a way to find them. Aha! Here is the gist of the matter. Not all kids smoke or vape. Neither do all kids get enticed towards these. But there will always be some who want to experiment. And no matter what you do, they will always find a way out. Adults hate flavors. 
We know that to be a fact. That's why there's no cinnamon vodka, no cake vodka, no mango vodka, no strawberry vodka, no apple vodka, no apple ciders, no strawberry ciders. Uh, there's definitely no chocolate stout beers, apricot beers, peach beers, and there's definitely not peach vodka, cinnamon whiskey. <laughs> They are blowing clouds, harming the bystanders. We will all die from secondhand smoke. It may not have tobacco in it, but the e-cigs are still delivering the same carcinogens that are known to cause chronic disease and cancer, and the secondhand vapor is emitting it as well. Number two, we are forced to inhale the secondhand smoke. This vapor is worse than cigarette smoking. What do we do with all these science fiction writers? Secondhand smoke, uh huh. Firstly, this is not smoke, this is vapor. Secondly, this dissipates in the atmosphere within 10 seconds, at max 20 seconds. But cigarette smoke takes one hour plus. Anyway, the particulate matter from smoking tobacco cigarette is 920 parts per million after three minutes of smoking. While the same with electronic cigarette is just 40 parts. Same after 3 minutes of vaping. So 920 and 40, which is better? Anything 40 or under is considered safe as per environment point of view. That is, if your workplace has 40 or less ppm in the air, they would not do anything. As it is perfectly safe for everyone to breathe. So here but is the science. There are many, but the most comprehensive ones are one by Dr. Igor Burstin, who did a complete chemical analysis of our e-liquids, both in vitro and in workplace scenario. And his report was, there was no evidence of e-cigarette users to contaminants that are a health risk at a level that would warrant any attention. E-cigarette vapor exposures to bystanders are orders of magnitude less and thus pose no apparent concern. And the next is by Konos University and Swiss Federal Laboratories who presented their report in Barcelona last year, 2016. This study was explicitly about indoor air quality when subjected to heavy vaping. And their report was... There was no measurable increase in nicotine in the air during vaping. But that's not surprising, because up to 99% of nicotine is retained by the vapor. Levels of propylene glycol, the major component of the e-liquid, were over 2,000 times lower than the UK's workplace exposure limit. Formaldehyde, a chemical that is almost always present in the air around us, as well as in cosmetics and furniture, was substantially lower than limits set by the World Health Organization. Levels of acetaldehyde, a chemical every single person exhales every day, were 16 times lower than the EU indoor air quality limits. We even found that levels of formaldehyde and acetaldehyde were significantly lower following the use of the e-cigarettes compared to reported emissions from burning scented candles. New research has also found that the particles in exhaled e-cigarette vapor are over 73% water and they evaporate within seconds. So there is truly nothing to worry about when someone is vaping near you. There is no passive smoking with vaping. It doesn't harm the bystanders. Number three, what about the nicotine? Nicotine is highly addictive. There is no difference between vaping and smoking. In fact, you are inhaling more nicotine now. Nicotine is addicting. It seems pretty easy for them to have maybe, you know, a couple of drops of the, the liquid refill and for them to die. And it places a whole new generation at risk for addiction to nicotine. Well, e-cigarettes are exactly that. They're cigarettes that have uh, nicotine, and uh, nicotine's very addictive. Just as it was getting harder for adults to feed their nicotine addiction, e-cigarettes came along to help addicts continue to use everywhere around the clock. Another nonsense. Nicotine is not addictive. If it was, 
How are they selling nicotine gums and nicotine patches? They are over the counter. Anybody can buy it. Don't they fear all the kids and everybody else will get hooked to those gums and patches? No. And there is no scientific research, peer review, which proves that nicotine has done any harm to anybody. Never in the ages. It doesn't cause heart attack. It doesn't cause cancer. It doesn't cause nothing. It's actually beneficial for human health. 90% of the people out there think nicotine is bad. In reality, it's a nootropic and it's a brain chemical enhancer. <laughs> nicotine seems to be the public enemy number one. The reason why there is such a great misconception about nicotine is because we only consider it in conjunction with cigarettes. The real danger lies there in the cigarettes, not in the nicotine. Because all scientific studies on nicotine is done over cigarettes and we understand that cigarettes are a health risk, nicotine became the irrevocable fall guy. The fact is, nicotine does not cause cancer, does not cause heart attack and is not an addictive substance as we understand addiction is. I have devoted two full length videos on the subject. So rather than beating the same drum all over again, let me leave you with this detailed NCBI report on nicotine. By the way folks, as usual, all reference links can be found in the video description below. Number 4. Okay, vaping is still not good. You are inhaling unknown chemicals. This is worse than smoking. You are at a greater risk. A new study released information regarding the harmful chemicals and toxic compounds found in e-cigarettes. Ah, no, no, no. Everything in the e-liquids is known. Very well known, in fact. Switching to e-cigarettes reduces the amount of cancer-causing tobacco toxins by 97% in just six months. Yes, folks. Firstly, we know that our e-liquids are made of just four ingredients. Vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol, flavoring, and nicotine. Vegetable glycerin is a thick organic liquid that provides the vapor base in e-liquid. Also called VG, it's commonly found in food products and cosmetics. Propylene glycol is a thin liquid that is the flavor carrier in e-liquid. Also called PG, it's commonly found in food products and medical inhalers. The flavoring used in e-liquid is the same food grade flavorings that you find in food and candy products. The nicotine used in e-liquid is extracted from tobacco and adds an extra throat hit quality to the vapor. Nicotine is optional and e-liquid can be made without it. Now how they behave when atomized is well studied by many researchers. Especially to note is Dr. Igor Burstein's report which I discussed earlier in this video. His report was clear that we had nothing to worry about while vaping e-cigarettes. Then was the Swiss study which I also discussed earlier, which researched the components of exhaled vapor and that it had no side effects on bystanders. E-cigarettes pose no known health risk to bystanders and non-vapors. Now this study clarifies that e-cigarette basically is a cure for human body, which has been devastated by the use of traditional tobacco cigarettes. This new study, funded by Cancer Research UK, was undertaken by University College London and the report was published on February 7, 2017. The researchers tracked 181 people for 6 months and they found that former smokers who had completely switched to vaping in 6 months had severely reduced their levels of carcinogens and now they had 98% less metals in their system. 98% less carbonyls, 97.5% less nitrosamines, 97.1% less volatile organic compounds like acrylonitriles and aldehydes, and 89% less polyaromatics. All of the above are known cancer causing substances found in regular tobacco cigarettes. As such, my friends, chillax. We exactly know what's in our e-cigarettes and we are happy about it. 
And lastly, number five, when everything fails, they come out with the same rhetoric. You are indulging in the same rigmarole. You are still smoking, smoking, vaping, whatever. This is not quitting. You can only quit either going cold turkey or by using nicotine gums and nicotine patches. Electronic cigarettes are of concern because they have the potential to introduce people to conventional cigarettes. They are not regulated by good manufacturing practices, and they're not any more effective than the medications that we currently prescribe for the treatment of tobacco dependence. I would not recommend that any clinician recommends these products for the treatment of tobacco dependence. Ah, uh, can't quit? Utter nonsense. Again, one of those false ideologies propagated by the government. There are millions of us around the world vaping today. The forums, ECF, Vape Beat, Aussie Vapors Forum, Planet of the Vapes, C9V, there are plenty of them. Each one of us stand guarantee that we could quit smoking only because of this. Every one of us vouch for it that NRTs didn't work for us. No nicotine gums, no nicotine patches work. This is a habit, not an addiction. Adding to credibility, here are seven research studies which confirm that e-cigarettes are an effective and important cessation tool to quit smoking. All links are in the description below. So fact check my friends. One. E-cigarettes are not marketed towards children. Adults love flavors too. 2. E-cigarettes do not cause passive smoking or vaping. No effect on bystanders. 3. Nicotine does not cause us harm. No cancer, no heart attack, no addiction. 4. There are no health hazard chemicals in e-liquids. And 5. E-cigarettes do help in quitting. It is an effective and important cessation tool. So folks, I could go on, but for the sake of brevity, I chose the most important five. Maybe a part two is calling, what say? Nonetheless, the point is, these are the biggest misinformation, I should say disinformation, spread by the FDA, CDC, World Health Authorities and all the governments around the world which is instigated by Big Pharma and Big Tobacco for their vested interests. Effectively thwarting this most important scientific phenomena which could save lives. Raising false flags, spreading rumors, selective reporting and thus manipulating the masses to continue smoking their cancer sticks. Or banning effective devices, mods, RTAs, drippers altogether promoting cigarette likes which they control and sell and which are not good enough will eventually get the vapor back to smoking. Death, destruction, greed, apathy, deceit is the name of the game. Let's not fall to big tobacco. Let's raise our voices. Thank you for watching folks. Remember, vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that